What is going on, Geeks Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another step-by-step -step vanilla arc building tutorial. This one is for a large greenhouse. If you follow along, you will have a build that looks just like this by the end of the video. If you find yourself enjoying it, don't forget to click the like button. Check out this amazing desert, guys. We're out in the middle of Ragnarok in the most recent, uh, recently updated area. It's 68.9, 60.5, but I chose this for looks and for the ability to build a big old wall here. Uh, there is not a great water source nearby, uh, so when it comes time for me to add the plumbing for today's greenhouse build, I'm gonna have to go to some great lengths. So wherever you're building, guys, uh, just make sure you get some water nearby. Um, and the idea of today's build isn't that you build it here, it's that uh, you can build it wherever you have the walls of your base. So uh, everybody who plays this game, and by the way, I painted it tan. I just left one unpainted so you can see the color difference, how it blends in a little better out here in the desert. But everybody's base has big, boring walls in it. I constantly get questions of people asking me how to make their walls look better. It's hard. I mean, I, I built this and it's boring. The one thing I like to do is build right up against walls. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Today's build is gonna involve a lot of Adobe building pieces and Laying out the foundation is something that's going to be a little tricky. I haven't figured out the best way to explain it to you guys. Well, I think I have, so we'll see. So we're going to start right up against the wall, and we're going to lay 14 in a row down. So that's three. And there we go, guys. So 14 across, and you're going to bring this out uh, so that it is a 3 by 14. And there you go, guys. So three by 14. Now, uh, I struggled to figure out the best way to do this with you guys. What we're gonna do now is a, uh, we're gonna, yeah, again, it's str I struggled to give you the, the best explanation of how to do this foundation, uh, but count in one, two, three. Uh, so we're gonna be, this is gonna be six shorter. It's gonna be eight across altogether. So that's two, three. All right, so there you go, guys. Uh, basically, I did eight foundations centered on the 14, so we have three empty spaces off here to the side, another three empty spaces off here to the side, and now we find the very center of this, which would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, yeah, there we go. So, <clears throat> we did three by 14, we added a row of eight centered on that, and we added a row of two centered on that, so this is our final foundation. Uh, another way to look at it is off to the left is a three by three, then a four by three, then a five by two, four by three, and three by three. So that is your foundation. You guys should be able to mimic this just by looking at it. And now we're gonna get to dive into the next step. All right, guys. So for this build, we are gonna be doing something a little bit different. Uh, as much as I love the surface texture of these Adobe foundations, for today's build, I do not wanna be looking at this side texture. So what we're gonna be doing is trying to place wooden walls, sorry, stone walls, down here to cover up the sides. Now for me, I just have to rotate the snap points. I have mapped that button on my mouse and it makes life very easy. But uh, for you, you may have trouble. I know when I try and do this every once in a while, um, the, the wall will pop up there or it will break. So that's why I'm doing it before we place the greenhouse glass. You would hate to be breaking greenhouse glass every time this place is incorrectly. But at least for me, these go in very easily. I'm not even rotating snap points at this point. I'm just looking at the sides of these foundations and the walls are popping in. There you go. So it does start to get a little bit difficult, but I'm gonna keep at it until I have surrounded uh, this entire build, except obviously for the back, which bumps up against our wall. Yeah, as the ground gets uh, closer to the surface of the foundations, I have to use the snap point rotation. Uh, but even then, I am not having too many, I haven't had a single error, to be honest. So there you go. There it is. And there we go. So there you go, guys. That is something a little bit different. And it's going to end up getting the same, I think the same tan paint as the walls behind it. So you've got something a little different there with your foundation. I don't know if you ever tried that in a build. You can do some very cool things playing around uh, with this particular uh, style, uh, getting a different surface, uh, sort of a different top and side combination. So we have stone on the side, adobe on top, and that is our base. That is how we're starting this thing. So it should look like that. All right, and 
we have done almost all of the, the, the groundwork, guys. It's time to get into some greenhouse glass. All right, geeks. So what do I have in mind with this shape? We're going to be beginning with our Adobe door frames. Uh, and we're going to be building up an arch on the front of this thing. It's up to you how tall you want to make it. For me, that's all I'm going to do. So we're going to go ahead and put these here and here. And I'm going to come along and put uh, greenhouse walls on either side here. So there you go, guys. That's just step one. We are now going to come down to this end of the build. And you're going to build up like that. And now we're going to grab our slopes and we're going to put in this shape. I'm going to go mimic that on the far end of the build. Like so. All right, guys. And now uh, you can come to the front of your build. We can go ahead and run three greenhouse walls across like that. And I'll do the same over on this side. Now we're going to need to uh, actually use some thatch building pieces. They're going to be temporary. The point is I want to be able to walk through here, but we need to build up um, we need to build this area up a little bit. So I'm going to put a greenhouse wall here. All right, guys. So with this done, we're actually going to uh, take the next step and start putting in some of our, if I can find them, our greenhouse sloped roofs. So uh, you do uh, th this step here, actually, guys, we're going to sort of build across and I'm just going to show you, I, I did this build yesterday and I'm sort of reminding myself the steps of, uh, the steps of the build. I'm trying to do things in an order where you guys will not have to undo anything. Hopefully I am doing it right. We will see. Um, but we're going to build up these two little three by three sections, the, uh, the ends of our greenhouse come across like so. And actually I'm sure we can go like this. And now at some point here, we're going to begin to need, um, we're going to begin to need, uh, uh, some thatch and the thatch is actually going to help us uh, build up put greenhouse walls on top and we'll be able to remove the thatch later a great thing about thatch is it is easier than a greenhouse wall to tell which way it's facing so we're going to go ahead and put one there and uh, i'll put another one on top and i know for certain this is going to be a greenhouse wall anywhere you're going to intersect with your slopes so i'll do the same thing right here All right, guys, so that is what we have put together. I'm going to go ahead and put another one on here. And then we are going to do this. All right, so just be careful, guys. I noticed that uh, you're going to actually have an opportunity. The way that vanilla building pieces work now, you can snap straight to that ceiling, but you, you wouldn't be snapping where you actually want the wall. And, and once you put these uh, walls on the outside of your foundations, it makes it a little harder to get up and down. But just keep an eye that you're actually snapping to this. Uh, it threw me off. See see how that doesn't want to go where I want it to go? I'm going to pick the other one and rotate snap points until it is where I want it. Like so. And like so. So with that done, I believe I can do this. And take out all of these thatch bits. Like so. And I use the door frame so that you can still pass through quite easily, but walls will work just the same. So there you go. We have done the beginning of what we need to do for this side. I'm going to go mimic it over here and we're actually going to do it together just so that you guys can get a good grasp on how to do this. So take the uh, thatch door frame and we're going to look at our feet right here and the last point uh, here. Like I said, you can actually snap a wall up here, but it's not snapped to this foundation. It's actually going to be on this one, which is is going to throw us off. I'm building like I'm building like I've always played Ark, but in recent months they have changed some of the ways that you can build. You didn't used to be able to do this. You didn't used to be able to place a wall up there like that, and now you can. So I don't know if this thatch is entirely necessary. It might may no longer be cuz look. I think I think I can oof. No. Okay. Yeah. You see that guys, those are not in line. So we got to keep doing what we're doing here. All right. So once again, do this and on top of that, we should have no trouble. Then I'll put one more right here. Again, looking at my feet and we'll put the wall there. Is that in line? It is. And is this in line? It is. Okay. So let's go ahead and take these out. The thatch is no longer needed, but it certainly was needed. I I'm glad I figured that out. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and put our, oh, it would be this one, like so. And you can see, guys, if you are not paying attention, there are different snap points here uh, on top of this thing that are gonna snap you in weird and different directions, like so. So I'm gonna make sure we get the right one. All right, guys, so uh, I have now repeated the steps that we just did on that side and brought them over to this side. And you can see how much progress we have made. This thing is coming together really quick. Let's go ahead and put greenhouse walls across the front, like so. All right, so that is what we're looking like now, guys. I guess I can put this GPS away. And I mentioned once you've got these walls on here, it becomes a lot harder to get inside, especially if you're trying to line up through a door frame. It's pretty tricky. So uh, go ahead and use a couple of ramps wherever you decide to put your doors. You put them on the front like me, or you could put them on the sides here. I think that would look good as well. Um, and I actually have doors to put in here. We're gonna use the standard greenhouse door, nothing fancy not stepping outside the box by too much. Um, I'm just trying to give you guys a unique and different shape to build your greenhouse in, and I think, we, I think we're onto it. Um, so all that's left for me to do now is to start slapping in, that's not right, to start slapping in some sloped roofs. Like so. All right guys, and this is a small pet peeve of mine, uh, but Especially with the greenhouse, uh, it's it's very obvious when you're off ever so slightly. So when I'm building like this, I like to start in the exact same place. See, those aren't even perfectly aligned, but it's be it's better better than they were if I start at the opposite end. So I'm going to start off to my right every time I do a row of these. If you notice, whoops, that's not right. Something like that. If you notice, and I were to come down here and do that, those are not in line. Uh, so that's why I'm saying come down here. Let's get your first one in, and hopefully that will at least be mostly in line with the one across from it. That looks about right. And yeah, you see the two snap points here, one off like that and one like that. So we'll find the one that works for us. And I'll tell you guys, this greenhouse coming together fast. Uh, I'm gonna take a look here at how we're gonna manage the front of the place. I hadn't quite figured that out. I think what we'll do, and I hate to undo work we've already done, guys. I think what we're going to do is build this uh, entrance way a little bit taller uh, in order to, to better work with the area behind it. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to take down the sloped roofs and the sloped walls that go on top. I could not remember the design I put together for this, but let's go ahead and put another whole set of walls on top before we put our slopes on, including one right there. I will put a slope there and a slope there, and we can come inside. Now, one thing we are gonna have to do, same thing we were doing earlier, is add a wall right here. So I can, like we were talking about, do it here, but it won't be perfectly in line. Uh, so we are gonna go back to our thatch door frames. Look at my feet here so that you get the inner sort of thatch texture, and then on top of that, you should be able to snap with very little difficulty, perfect. Take this off. And if the key is keeping this all in line, the greenhouse glass, guys, unlike this, the thatch, I can tell which side is which. One side looks like that, and one side looks like that, right? Uh, with the greenhouse glass, it is far from obvious. So the only way you're going to be able to tell is if things are just not quite lined up right. For example, like that. And that would throw your whole build out of whack. That is why we are going to these silly lengths of using these thatch door frames and then trying to make sure we're snapping on top of that. So I'm gonna stand off to the side. Not right, not right. Let's see if I can get it to snap all the way to the front, like so. All right, so off the front, let's go ahead and put in one, two, three sloped roofs. We'll go one, two, three sloped roofs. And the reason I added, whoops. Like so, the reason I added it, guys, is so that we didn't have, if we had kept it lower, we would have had a, would have had a greenhouse roof coming down like this, and I don't know if I like that. I didn't want to be diving under that. I think I like this shape a little bit better. Still not perfect. What you have is these sort of hanging down because we don't have upside down slopes like you get in Structures Plus, and you're going to have these because that's the only way to make two walls go together, uh, or two sloped roofs go together. So uh, we have built the frame of this place. Let's back up and take a look. All right, guys, so when we look at things that are out of alignment, uh, this is an interesting one I had forgotten. Uh, these are out of alignment, and it's because I had to start here. So I'm going to show you how you would fix that. Now, this would be a costly uh, thing to fix. Uh, otherwise, we're going to grab two sloped thatch roofs. All right, and these thatch roofs are going to allow us to carry on the snap point from over there to this side. 
All right, and now I'm going to be snapping like so, and everything will be in line as opposed to out of line like we had it there. So let's go ahead and put one in here, and you'll see the two different snap points. One, one is going to be off ever so slightly like so. And then this one is going to be perfect. Now, the only problem is by breaking that uh, slope roof, I did mess up. Let's go ahead and walk again. I was flying just to show you how it was going to look. But let's go ahead and get rid of that and that. And it just means we need to put that piece back. So we will grab one of these and we'll put this directly on top. All right. And that is perfectly aligned. We take that out and there you go, guys. So that's the shape. Let's now take a look at it. All right, and back we go. Let's take a look, guys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. How is that for a shape? To me, that feels like a very traditional greenhouse. I like a lot of what we have going on here, and we're going to make it better with paint. Let me grab that. I'm going to be back in just a second. All right, guys, I hope you like the shape that we put together in that uh, first half of the video. What we're going to do here is something I forgot to attempt. Uh, this is a, a trick we've been messing around with a little bit lately, and we'll see if it plays along today. But yes, do that. So uh, if we place a ceiling here, uh, there is no such thing as a stone ramp, but um, we're going to be able to get away with uh, kind of sneaking one in there. And we'll see if I can even do this. I think I can. Like so and then we can take you out. So now we actually have a stone ramp on the front of the place. Now the key to holding that up is actually the ramp that's hiding underneath here. It's providing uh, foundation support. So if we go ahead and put another one of these in, we'll find the snap point, and then I will try and sneak one of these sloped walls right underneath, like I saw. Oh, and we take out our adobe, uh, whoop, there we go. And there we go, okay. So there you go, guys. We now have a stone ramp on the front. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and as for paints, let's go ahead and pull this uh, HUD up. And I can get you off and you off. So I have chosen four colors. We have tan, we have uh, a tangerine, forest, and brown. They're roughly some of the same colors currently on my character. There you go. So I don't have much green on there, but what we're going to get started with are the, uh, the sort of the, the wooden walls that surround this place. And I mentioned we're going to paint them to match what's back there. So I think it's probably just going to be region one for pretty much everything here. We're going to go around and paint all of these stone walls, BRB. And that comes together really quick. Okay, so there you go, guys. Now we match. Not quite perfectly, obviously, it's not that texture, it's this one, but we've got that coming through here, and then on the inside we managed to maintain the cool, warm feel of adobe floors. It's up to you what you do on the inside here, but I have a couple of ideas. What? I can't climb through there now? Huh. Alright guys, so I actually wanted to test something here. We, we just went and added in this stone ramp. It seems to me that all of a sudden I now can't walk through my door. If that's the case with you, there is a super easy fix. Uh, anytime you have this issue, go ahead and uh, put another door frame on top. You can put a door in it. That door doesn't have to open. Oh, what? In the past it didn't. Now it, what? You're crazy. I used to be able to just walk through those. Ready? Let's try that. Okay, interesting. Well, it seems like this stone roof can give you some trouble as you try and get through here. Weird. Okay, so maybe you're better off just going with a plain old ramp. I don't know. Probably better going off with a plain old ramp. <laughs> All right, so come to the inside, guys. We're going to grab our green paint. I've got some ideas here. I don't know what you're going to think, but we're going to do something a little different. Paint that whole row, that whole first row. Skip this one, and we're going to paint this. Like that. And then we're going to come to the very front. Same deal. I think this is going to look good. We'll see when it's done. Uh, and then for the spaces in between, I'm not sure what to go with next. What do we think? Maybe a little brown or a little tan. Yeah, we're going to go tan across this one. We'll slap that in. Oh. All right, guys, I changed my mind, changed my mind. I think we're going with tangerine across here. I like that. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're doing stripes. I don't know if I've ever done a striped floor, but I kind of like it. 
I kind of like how that feels. Uh, so let me know what you guys do, how you, you design your floor tiles. If you paint it, if you paint it all the same color, maybe you could do a little checkerboard pattern. I don't know what you're going to do, um, but I like that. Uh, and I think we now need to go to the outside. So the key to this design, guys, the thing that made it pop and made me want to turn it into a tutorial when I was sort of build storming, trying to come up with ideas, the key was... Um, Having each of these sections, and there's four really, there's this one off to the right and the one far off to the left, there's our main entrance one, and then there's the big central section. The key was having those all in different colors. Now you can do the, the ceilings and the walls the same, you can do them different, and we're going to get started here, and I hope we're making the right call. We'll have to play around with it. Everything in the greenhouse glass tier, the paint region you're going to want is region two. But what I want to start with is forest green. It is a dark pretty bold color when you put it on greenhouse glass. It stands out. I think it looks generally pretty good. And we're going to do that for this entrance. I'm going to skip the doors for now. That might be an opportunity to add a little pinch of color. Let's go do you and you. And we're not going to do the roofs. The roofs will definitely get something different as a color. So we'll put those in like so. Yeah, I like that. All right, guys, I have been playing around with various paint options on here, and I have yet to find one I love when I mix and match, uh, make the roof and the walls different colors. That was my original game plan. I don't think we're going to go that way. Uh, so I'm going to bring you guys back. I might cut out all the painting I've done up till now and, and sort of explain my new thought process, what we're going to be doing. And for anything greenhouse, you're going to want to select region two as your primary region. That is going to paint just about everything that needs to be painted. What I want to do is our first, uh, uh, this little chunk here, the entrance chunk, I'm going to paint the whole thing green. I'm going to back up and see how that looks. I think that is more to my liking. I want to do the same with these end bits. All right, so this is the way we're going to be going about it, guys. Paint your entrance sort of vestibule entirely in green and paint that one on the end and this one on this end entirely in green. I'll do this. I'll be right back. All right, so there you go, guys. I currently have brown on the walls of the large middle section. I am going to try to do uh, two different colors uh, for the middle section. What we're going to do is grab that tangerine, and I'm going to see how this looks uh, as the roofing color. And if need be, we will go ahead and either paint this brown to match the walls, or we'll paint the walls tangerine to match the roof. But I do want to see how this looks. It has a very cool kind of coppery color to it. It works really well with this greenhouse glass tier, the tangerine does. And I want to see how this will look as part of a gigantic roof. Um, part of the problem of any color, picking any colors, is, is if you're Doing it on a big enough area, it, it's going to be potentially overwhelming. Too much green, too much orange, who knows what. Yeah, I think I'm going to live with that, guys. So paint the vestibule, the left side and the right side of your greenhouse entirely in green. The middle section gets brown walls and a tangerine roof. I really like how this has turned out, guys. Uh, what is left for me is plumbing crop plots, and potentially some decoration. Now, I do a lot of creative building. You guys know that if you watch this channel. This is just me on a creative building server, spawning in something and building it. Hopefully something cool, and then teaching you how to build it. That is the, the main game plan I take into most days of recording. But uh, that means I don't get to play a ton of survival, and I sometimes forget what is the most important things to have inside a greenhouse in survival. So I'm going to take a break. I'm going to work on the plumbing. I'm going to reach out in my Discord chat. There's a link for that in the description, the Geeks Discord that Arali and I run together. It's full of viewers of this channel and my Patreon supporters. I'm going to go in there and ask for advice on what to stock the inside of this greenhouse with. Uh, when I come back, guys, there will be plumbing, there will be crop plots, there will hopefully be some ut utilities built in as well, and we'll finish off this build. BRB. And welcome back, guys. Let's take a look. What have I done? Didn't go to any great lengths to landscape this one like I have in the past with the eco trees or the eco garden decor. All the work I did was on the inside and we kept it pretty much entirely vanilla. Lately when I have been doing my tutorials, I have been adding in some uh, uh, modded sort of decoration bits. Today there was no need for that. Um, I think this place looks good just on its own. I really like the combo of the tangerine and the green. I might suggest doing the this part which we did in brown in tangerine as well i do like that sort of like bronzy color but it's up to you guys i would love to see the color combinations i always ask this i don't always remember but 
if you build this, tweet at me. I'm at Unite the Clans on Twitter. I love to see the builds. I will retweet you. I will share it. And when I do my live streams on the weekends, I go through all the building tweets I have gotten all week. That is something that has gone on and has been great since the very beginning. So let's take a look at what we did here. I don't know. What kind of a mismatch did I do? I thought I had a pattern to this. Clearly not. But I've gone ahead and planted all our crops. Uh, I've got wind turbines. I had one here and I went and placed an extra one on the other side just for symmetry. And I went ahead and ran water from the well way up there. It was a lot of work. And I, I, I used a, I sort of cheated to get myself inside the walls to hide all the piping. But you've got the piping running right down the middle of your greenhouse. I like that. I like to have it up at this level. Some people do it right above the crops. That looks good too. Um, and then the lighting, I have um, all the wiring hidden underneath us as well. So, gone ahead and planted your standard crops. Like I said, I thought I had a pattern. I thought I went potato, carrot, potato, carrot, potato, carrot. Clearly, I threw some corn in there and screwed up my whole order. And then for the front window, since we already have colors of orange uh, and green in here, I did all citronal. Uh, oh, no, I didn't. I did some citronal. That's corn. I don't know what I'm thinking, guys. I thought I had a pattern to this. I get a little distracted. Um, and you can't tell what you planted until it grows. So I guess that's part of it. Um, and then citronal all along the front here. Those are like little oranges. Uh, and then what we've done here, uh, the one thing I didn't include that my Patreon supporters had suggested was a beehive. I guess most people with their greenhouses will set it up for kibble, uh, which would mean uh, you would want your industrial cooker like this. You would want some fridges to keep uh, the the prime meat jerky and meat jerky, all the other things you would need uh, for your, uh, your kibble. They do that. They also tend to keep their beehives nearby so they can make that sweet veggie cake. It's called sweet veggie cake. I'm not saying it's veggie cake and, it, you know, it's like that sweet, sweet veggie cake. Anyway, guys, <laughs> uh, this build is pretty much done. Take a look around. Um, I added in uh, adobe uh, railings all through here. This side I painted green, this side in tangerine. And one thing I did that we didn't have in the original build was a door here. I added in the ramp so that we could have the second door over top. I still get stuck. It's a little bit frustrating. I don't know why. That used to work great. If you had a door over your head, you would never get stuck. Today causing issues, but what are you going to do? And then all these lamps, I actually went ahead and instead of white light, that is tan. The same color as we have on the stone wall behind you there. And there we are at night. Oh, it is quite bright. I've got all these on medium. You could easily go to low. Yeah. Yes, you could. Okay. So this is how the place looks, guys. I like it. That is pretty bright for nighttime. I feel like you could get a lot of work done in here. If you have S+, plus, you don't have to use these lights. You can mount little ceiling lights up on the top. And if you have S+, plus, your greenhouse is going to look very different. You're going to include the S+, plus gardener, the S+, plus farmer, the item collector that picks up, uh, I don't know. There's, there's collectors that pick up poop and, and refertilize your crops and uh and it's very there's a lot of automation involved in s plus these days if you play with that you could do a lot better than i did here and in fact you could hide all of your piping and all of your wiring which is one of the best features of structures plus but this build is totally vanilla no mods involved i went and planted a little bit of berries over here uh, so you could have your uh, your stim berries and your narco berries so that you can keep these little guys pooping. So uh, another thing people tend to have, even when they have things fully automated uh, in their places, people tend to keep some fiomias for poop. They tend to keep a little dung beetle to collect it, and then a little akatina here who makes, I forget what he makes. I don't remember. I think it goes into the sweet veggie cake. Is that right? I can't really remember the deal. Anyway, I asked for a little help what I should include. They said, put in a bunch of poopers, put in some compost bins, put in your little feeding trough, dung beetle, akatina, and this is a complete greenhouse. Now, I don't play enough survival to be an expert, like I said, so I trusted uh, trusted my geeks over on the Patreon server. Um, but that does it for today's build, guys. I'm going to give you a cinematic outro. We are going to zoom out. This knife has a straight edge on it, so it's very easy. Maybe in our world here, they live a happy little mountain. All right, geeks, thank you so much for watching today's video. It is my first ever greenhouse building tutorial. It is large, it is sprawling with a paint scheme of forest green and tangerine, lush with growing green plants. You got your fiomias, you got your crafting station. This place is fully decked out. Thank you for watching, guys. Popping up on your screen right now is a playlist for all of my ARC building tutorials. Dive in and binge watch. You can click on my face to subscribe, and if you're interested in the Patreon, click right here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next ARC building tutorial.